Ah, welcome back, my citizens of Carthage, to another episode of Rome of the Chronicles of Rome Total War 2. Well, guys, we are back here in an epic stance where, you know, remember that battle that I fought that was really big that decided the fate of this entire island? Well, it's actually now a national landmark. It has uh, the great epic battles that will be sung through history as the defeat of Carthage from the islands. Yeah. I don't know why I wanted to bring that to you guys' attention, but yeah, it's there. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's there. So yeah, guys, this episode, um, what I was basically going to be doing was um, doing a couple things. First off, I'm going to be spreading, getting some more order in some of my other outskirt colonies, I because I know, I know for a fact we aren't the most liked in some of our other colony places. And second off, I was going to... Start mostering up a formidable army to go fight our good old friends next door. Um, what were their names? I don't remember. But basically, we're combining. We're going to be combining these two armies right here to make a new gigantic army. This should, this should actually be a pretty formidable. Oh, wait, yeah, I have to transfer generals, that's why. Okay, but yeah, this should be a very formidable army. Um, with these two guys in control, they should be enough to go destroy whatever forces are in this little puny village. And after that, we should be able to control a good amount of Spain. And with that, another threat is bites the dust. And then from there, maybe we'll have enough forces to then go take on Cartagena, which will be nice. Okay, anyways, um, back in Carthage, it's being Carthage-y. We might need to upgrade it at some point, but mainly I'm focusing on army mechanics and stuff like that. Um, did we end our turn yet? Not quite yet. So, I think we're about done for this turn. Um, anything else I need to really do? Uh, I don't think I can convert for this mantle. Oh, let's see. Hellenistic. I thought Hellenistic Village was technically ours. I guess not. That's not ours. Convert or dismantle. What? Does convert and dismantle have it for everything? Just let me know this. Oh, it does. Okay, so I don't have to convert everything. That's just a warning. You are watching. Does it issue an edict on one of your entirely controlled provinces? Oh, I control an entire province? Really? Okay. Wait, that's not an edict. Trade finance, trade partners, no cargo. Let's see how much trade am I grossing in from all these? Not very much, actually, not very much. So we're producing a ton of olive oil and leather. They're giving us wood. That's good. Um, our expenses are pretty much good. I mean, our upkeep's pretty much good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. Anyways, um, military, military. We have to own a couple things. Yeah, I'm still getting to that. Uh. Democracy, yeah, we own the entire place of Phalazania. Not a bad place to own. Not a bad place to own. But, uh, this is actually one of those times I may need to actually reach on gold. That you see, gold enables surplus population. Okay. Um, population plus. Okay, I own this entire apartment. So, how do I construction, building, farms? Okay. I'm just gonna come back when I actually know how to do regional provinces, regions, and settlements. Okay, guys? See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. Figured it out. This is where the edicts are. It's right next to this little stage. Right next to this little button over here next to details. And when you go to details, it goes over here. So I can basically enact any edict I want. Hmm. 5% tax rate does sound kind of good. No offense, but I do love taxes. More wealth in comments, but they reduces slave population. Reduces slave population decline. That actually would help me out because I just realized forty four percent of my population is slaves, and that's not good. That's seriously not good. <laughs> when forty four percent of your population is slave, commercial situation. Let's do that because I really do need to get rid of these slaves. Yeah, I don't know when we got all these slaves, but we got a lot of slaves. Okay, you're almost done, and then I'm going to be start working on this to get to here so I can have better morale for elephants. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the cartridge route and just, I'm going to maximize my elephants to the best they've ever possibly be. I mean, once I'm done with them, there'll be nothing in their path to stop them. 
I mean, we will just, I swear this, I swear to this, I will have an entire army. Holy shoot, where did they come up with that army? Like, they did not have that a couple minutes ago when I was planning to attack them. What the heck? That was not there. What the heck? Okay, so it seems like they actually do have an army. I really get, you know what, I'm going to start making spies more to go check out my enemy before I go attack them. Because that's really annoying that I have to deal with that and more. Oh, come on, Levy. No! <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've had about enough. That that was my breaking point. Oh, and, and you better not kill me. You better not kill my general. Yes! Oh, yeah! We just... Okay, it seems like they were coming to go attack me with the big gigantic army. That is not a good sign. I may have to go engage that army once I gain a little bit more soldiers. But, yeah. That is not a good sign. Okay. So yeah, we have, so let's see, we have two, we have basically two attacks that are going to be going on. We have the Athenians that somehow raised up an army I didn't even know about. Which means lots of mercenaries are going to be soon bought from that region. Lots of mercenaries. Um, Syracuse, entities wounded. Um, our hidden air region has been exposed. And did one of my vassals actually do something? Um, no, rebels! Oh, rebels! Oh, that's that that's perfect right there. Rebels took over the capital city. That that's just perfect. Okay. So over here though, we actually do have a serious problem. Okay, so before I do anything, let's hire some mercenaries. Okay. Now that we've hired some mercenaries, go inside the city. Okay. So what we're basically gonna have to do is basically because I have enough basically guys, I have enough Soldiers, I could probably defend the streets against whatever coming. Ooh, this is gonna be a really big guy. Really big guy. Um, what I will do is do this, go right here, and go right here. Okay. Anyways, back over here. Um, Ready this guy, he's going to be coming in very close, so that way maybe we'll have some support from him, just in case. Because having him over there would also help my man. Another general, another thing, and then also having my ships right next to the port. Yeah, it's going to be a... Let me just say this. If they attack me, it's going to be a pretty hard battle. We're going to be fighting them tooth and nail. And then, once we destroy this, I'm pretty sure that's the maximum of their army. We can basically just go kill off the rest of them. Alright, over here in... In uh, in Sicily, this situation has turned drastically against the Syracuse. Um, even though we are now gone, the army doesn't seem to be recuperating. They seem to actually have faded a little bit. That's kind of sad. Like, a little bit sad for them. Um, this is a little bit worrying though. Right over here, this is a little bit worrying. We have two gigantic armies moving towards us. Um. Does that mean I want to necessarily attack them? No. Does that mean we should probably defend ourselves? At some point, yes. Um, these guys are a pretty dang experienced. Like, they have a lot of soldiers. The only way I think we're going to be able to do this is if we had a lot more of our own soldiers protecting and fighting for us. So let's see, has the elephant... You, can we recruit more elephants? No. There are no more elephants there, so that's going to be pretty much... No avoid. Um, I mean, we could probably deal with this army if they like came in one by one. We have enough elephants to do it, but should I? See, if we, yeah, if we also defeat this army, we basically destroy their entire forces, and then we could just go in and go to pick off all those guys one by one. Um. And having this army actually have the war elephants will help me much better than the other army. So yeah, I think I am going to retreat my army back to help out with this defending of Garmenta. Um, they shouldn't be able to reach it this turn. Oh, they should be able to reach it this turn, actually. Gosh dang it. Well then, anyways, I'm just going to go send in all my forces and we're just going to go seize them down until they're all dead. Because I'm not losing this province. I just enacted an edict. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, over here though... Yeah, we. The chances of us winning this are pretty slim, but we'll try anyways. Let's continue. Warning! Are you sure you are on the verge of it? Whatever. I'm always on the verge of something. And I haven't yet. Temptus Fujii. Whatever that means, it's probably not something good. 
The if Thurskins, I am so wow, I'm surprised if Thurskins are still in that region. Okay, yep, there's besieging the settlements. They can't obviously fight me right now, so they'll obviously besiege the settlement. I'm just gonna have to kill off a lot of my men next turn so that we can do a lot of stuff. Um and I am gonna have to reconquest that city from from the Namapoms. Okay, seems like we have some type of battle here. I don't see what they're doing. Just all resolve it. Yeah, I, I I didn't see what they were quite doing. Just yeah, just kill the captives. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what they were doing, but they obviously were trying to do something. Didn't quite work. Okay, so they didn't quite reach my city yet, which is good. That's not what I. Did. That's definitely why I didn't want them to do. This, the angle has now flipped, which I don't really like, because now I can't tell where everything is. Okay, and that's obviously the Strait of Gibraltar. That's Theseus. Okay, bankruptcy, whatever. Let's see, how are my expenses doing? Well, basically, I was going to kill off a lot of my soldiers through this. At your command. Uh, like, watch. I mean, this was the reason why I bought so many soldiers, was because... Uh, control. Control large army. Yeah, I want to control everything. Are you kidding me? This is like. I have to control this army if we're going to fight against this. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I'll, this is going to be a pretty big battle. So, I will meet you guys on the battlefield for this epic fight against the Carthaginians versus the Ruthless Spaniards. Okay, guys. You know what the drill is. We're going to fight and destroy our enemies with more friends and allies coming in on the way. Now, I don't know what I did, but I'm hoping what I did was I didn't just set the enemy to, like, you know. I mean, I didn't. I hope I didn't just give the AI control of my forces, because if that happens, we basically are not going to win this. I, I can almost tell you, guarantee, from the bottom of my heart, we are not going to win this if the AI is in control of my forces. So, but... Anyways, I'm going to what I am going to do because I because it's no point. There's no point in attacking or fighting against the uh, these guys until we are absolutely ready. So I'm going to move back all you guys, and we're basically just going to do this. So we gotta wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Um, if the AI is smart, they'll attack me immediately. Wow. I wasn't expecting them to be smart. Okay. So yeah, my forces are starting to arrive as quickly as possible. Um, we're going to set them up in a formation as quickly as possible next to these guys. Okay. This should be big enough line to where they should be able to do something. Um, I'll have these guys move over here. Okay. And then these are all slingers and archers. Yeah, we're going to have a good amount of archers. Like, this is going to be a... A great day for us to have. Okay, and then over here on the sea, we have a ton of Carthaginian ships. Not really sure why we really need them, but I might as well just stick them right here and then just start. We're just gonna harass them. That's what we'll do. We'll just harass them. Okay, and so yeah, we have two forces of gigantic proportions moving in, and then we have our men troops. So let's just move in them a little bit faster. And then my general units, they'll give emotional support on both sides. Um, and then my ships are doing their shipish thing. I actually will withhold them just for a little bit because I don't want them to go to shore yet. Um, I want them to be like this close so that when we actually do engage, because we definitely want to make sure that we have the most advantage possible. So what we're going to try to do is make sure that when we spurn the engagement, it will be right by the sea. Okay, and this is way too long of a line. I'm just I'm just gonna say that now. So I'm just going to move back some of you guys to like the second flank. Cause this is way too big of a line. Like, seriously. Warriors! Ready! Uh and then you guys. Hmm, I guess you guys can stay. Let's just move back our forces. Yeah, this is a lot of setting up, I know guys, but uh, it just has to be done. We have to make sure that we are all in position for when this epic battle begins. If we're not all in position, like the general was in position, this may cause us a very bad situation. Okay, so 
Now that we got all these guys. Let's see if I can figure this out. Wait, I forgot somebody. Warriors eager for blood. Okay, well I have you just be the random soldier that's just gonna be randomizing. Okay, but anyways, you guys. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my goodness! Whoa! What was that? Okay, that's not what I want to do. Um, what I'm gonna do is group you guys. Group? No, no. Group? What is this? I just want group. Canadian trivia zamba. I, yeah, I can see you guys have obviously. Yeah, paradox. Just, just I need simple group. That's all I need. I don't need new advanced stuff. AI defend. AI attack. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wait, you guys are all running? What the heck? No, no, don't run. Yeah, you guys are gonna tie yourselves out. Okay. Oh gosh, where the heck is group? Where the heck is group? Select a group. Okay. Let's make a group. Okay, you guys are a group. Okay, I'll have. I'll have you guys be another group. Okay, and then I'll have you guys be your own group. Okay. Ah, dang it. Oh, I can also toggle them out? Sweet. Let me just group these guys up too. I group these guys up into a group, and then group these guys up into another group. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I can actually delete this group because... Okay, and then also delete this group because I just want to do this, a massive group. Okay. There we go. Okay, and you guys, yeah, you guys can be my small elite force that will be doing things on the side. Okay, now that we got all this set up, let's start setting up the groups. So let's start setting up our big, gigantic, massive line right here. Okay. Next, we'll have our elite force of cool people to go over here. Okay, we'll have our generals to go right here. We'll have our elites. We'll have our elite slingers go right here because they're just going to be raining, you know, death and destruction all over. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. See, just takes it just takes a couple minutes to organize everything, and you're all good. Again, if the end if the AI was smart, they would be attacking me right now so that they would get me before I was in position. Um, now would be a good time for my uh, for my uh, troops to just go and go fire on whatever forces they can. I don't care what they fire on, just as long as they start firing on something. Um, we have some of our forces setting up. It's gonna take a little bit. I mean, we still got we still got most of our men moving in. Yeah, it's gonna take. Like I said, it's gonna take a little bit before we're all ready to go set up. But hopefully, my men will be able to fire effectively. Don't tell me they're gonna crash inside the ocean. Oh, they're just gonna pack. Wow. Okay, let's see. Can they actually fire from there? Are you guys gonna fire? They aren't gonna fire, are they? Can my big archery unit fire? No. He has very limited range. What the? Mob! Okay, and then there's a the mob. mob. I'll have the mob go into like second rank. Double time! Because these guys are. Not the best. Actually, not the best unit, but. Pretty good. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to carefully go in, and then we're just going to start targeting some of these Iberian, Iberian soldiers. Then what we're gonna do with our with our next unit is we're going to set them all up into a gigantic, gigantic formation right there. Have you guys just go right here, okay, and have my cavalry. Stay right there, because we want to make sure that they're right in the middle of everything. Okay, you guys. Oh, what are you guys doing? Just don't do that. Just. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you guys, my elite force, are going to try to uh, flank them over here. Okay, you guys can actually run. Okay. Let's see this happen. Yep, and my ships are just absolutely doing nothing. And they are getting a morale boost, so. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so they're obviously wanting to charge me. 
So what I'm going to do is alter my strategy. Actually, I could probably make it before that. Before that, before they even get to me, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to uh, to uh, get in my position. So let me just plan accordingly. So I'm going to have this general be right here to protect this flank's honor. I'm going to have this general right here to protect this flank's honor. That way we have two different generals. That way, if one general dies, we won't have the same... This thing happened where all of them just, you know, everyone just routes. Okay, you guys go into full running formation, and then I have two units to flank. Good. Let's begin. Okay, we're attacking. Hope you guys are on skirmish mode. Hope you guys are on skirmish mode. Okay. Okay, but you guys, how much are you killing? Okay, yeah. You guys starting to run back? Run back. Okay, yeah. And we just killed off a unit because all we did was... Um, okay, uh, just set up lines right here, just set up lines right there, just set up lines right there, I don't even need a big gigantic, okay, you guys are idiots, don't you dare attack, mm -hmm. okay, and, okay, I think it looks good. I don't know why you guys are in the front lines. Okay. Yeah, you guys all look good. You guys just... You guys are going to be my flanking unit. We're just going to use this to go attack these guys. Okay. First contact has been made. Um, go attack these guys. Go hit them hard. We also have some skirmishes right there. Okay. And then my general units right here. And then you guys are right there. You guys should be firing into that crowd. You guys should be firing into that crowd. And then you guys should be just defending. Okay, and then my generals are providing more support. You guys have already crumbled. Yes. Yes. Okay. From there, now that we've already crumbled them, I'm going to use these guys. We'll first group them up like this. Then I'm going to go attack like that. Kill some more of these guys. Um, this isn't exactly working for them, is it? Okay, you guys move down there. Alright. You guys go sling attack these guys. That unit's getting a little bit failing, so attacked. Um, doesn't really matter. And why is there a random point right there? That doesn't really make any sense. Okay. Now everyone charge in with a good amount of big gusto. Wow, this is a really good slow mo cam. Slow mo cam! Okay, fast cam. Ah, dude! That should provide some, nece some necessarily charging skills. Alright, now we got all these guys all dead. Go attack with all your might. Go, my soldiers will now go attack these guys. Um, you guys will keep firing on these guys. Um, you guys will keep firing on these guys. Um, yeah, this is. I, I'm, I'm pretty safe to say, I may be a little bit cocky, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we've won this battle. They are, the vast amount of majority of the troops have been crushed by my superior troops. Look at all this carnage, my troops are just cutting through them. There's a couple good straggler resistance. Okay, go kill these guys. Just go route everything, everything in their path. Kill, kill, destroy. Okay, there's a wedge. Wow, that's actually a wedge formation. Oh, that like took me straight on. Gosh, that hurt. That charge was actually effective, and now most of the men are all dead. Or routing. There's still some over here. Can you guys please go kill this unit? Like, seriously? Because I'll go kill it for you. Hey, you guys. Mob, go kill. Mob. Run like maniacs. Okay, we've got a couple engaging units. We're trying to make sure that these guys do not recover because right now we got a nice route going. I mean, they are just... Okay, I'm going to have my horsemen go cut down the rest of these guys. And this is the last major skirmish, and that was over instantly. I mean, it was spears versus swords. Who was not going to win that battle? I mean, honestly. Okay. We have... These guys underneath our necks. I, yeah, we won. So everyone go inside there. And victory over. Everyone. 
Yes. Okay, guys. See you on the battle the battle map. So everyone was at a close victory. What? How many did we capture? Kill them all. Oh, one of our generals died. Get to it, man. Okay. Well. Who is the one that died? Sure. Oh shoot, I think I just trapped the wrong guy. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.